why kill? Yeah. Cherry. So you went to Radford, you said? Yeah, Radford. What year? It's not like I'm proud of that, but yeah. then uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I was supposed I, to grad. I thought you went Castle for some Castle. reason. Castle? Yeah. Because oh. I remember watching like uh, like your older rap stuff. Yeah. You was like a... Was it the Pizza Pizza Hut guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Wasn't a lot of them in in Kaniwa area. Nah, I no. worked at Pizza Hut, uh, Salt Lake Shopping Center. Yeah, yep. So right down the road from my house. Oh, but I was supposed to grad O three, but I never really graduate. Oh, you never graduated? Nah, nah, nah. No, no. <laughs> but need. I pretended. <laughs> I, I, went, I went to my graduation. I had my cap and gown ready and got laid and everything. Just no more nothing inside. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a photo. Just a manila photo. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they don't give it to us until after. <laughs> but yeah, Radford. Get, yeah, Radford. Yeah. Oh. If you guys don't know who this is, this oh. is uh, DJ Osna. Yes, sir. But it's spelled O S N. Yeah. I Z Z L E. Yeah, now I, I, always, I always thought like, what is the correct spelling? Okay, so name is Osna. Osna. But when Google yeah. came about, if you Google Osna, then it's just a bunch of acronyms for all kinds of stuff, like Oregon School Nursing Association. Yeah. Or like it, the list goes down, so I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna just change it to like more rap version, O Snizzle, because then Snizzle. now you Google up O Snizzle, I'm the only thing on the yeah, first yeah. page. What, what, so what's what your what's your real for. name? Jarrell. Jarrell. Yep. Okay. Yep. Jarrell. Yeah, it's crazy. This this is actually the first time we're actually meeting to you yeah. in yeah. person. Yeah. 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 So it happened like online. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I was I posted a clip from um Andy Bumutai. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he was talking about how stand up comedy is the in his eyes the hardest profession. But then you brought up rap battling too. I, I, like can, there's a it's similar, I always yeah. I always seen a comparison of battle rap and comedy. Yeah. You know, it's just you on stage, only your voice. For sure. Capturing the crowd. Sometimes I, yeah. sp I spit bars too and then I there tell Rachel, I was like, Well, I think I should be a rapper. There you see, that's what I'm here, right? I was like, I think I got this. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I don't know. I probably can't though. Can't no, do it like but you. But you think a lot of a lot of comedians they do like parody rap at least. Oh yeah. Like Frank DeLimo is yeah. like the king of that when, yeah. when I was growing up. He was um three local brothers, the uh, three local boys, they they were doing Even a bunch of stuff. Even Augie T did some Augie T, some parodies. He's part of that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bully Eo. All day. Yeah. yeah. Even some of your stuff is is comedic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah, you, it's like the, a there's like a fine line between comedy and Yeah. and rap. The newest one is that the Holly one? Uh yeah, and I, I that one was like a couple months ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. That, yeah. that one kind of went viral, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the latest one I just did was uh Pigeon One Hundred and One. Mm. So I'm like, uh, I think I heard that one too. I'm yeah. speaking Pigeon, but I'm giving you the English translation yeah. also, all in one. Yeah. So that one, that one is yeah. And that's all all um you came up with it all all by yourself, or you, do you have like a team that helps you? No, nah, yeah, all by myself. All by yourself. Yeah. No ghost writers. You heard that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the that's the rap side. That's yeah, the rap yeah. side. That's yeah. the rap side of yeah. um the you you gotta write your own stories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, otherwise you get looked down upon. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no no team. I wish I had a team. Because I right. feel like to get to a certain place you need other people for sure. Yeah. On the team. So that's the kind of thing that's been holding me. Can't back. do it all by yourself, yeah, but can. it's it's good that you create everything all by yourself, and that's your own mind, your own work, yeah. rather than coming from someone else. Oh, I, I would tell people all the time that want to like, um, like my family or whatever friends yeah. that don't understand the music business, and they'll be like, uh, asking questions like how people make money in yeah. music, and I'd be like, well, you take a let's like take a reggae band for example, yeah. Then you gotta split that because now now they get one label that takes a cut. They get one yep. manager that takes a cut. If get four or five of them in the group, now they all gotta split that yeah. money. So you I mean even if you do like a million streams, you are probably only going home with like four thousand dollars. Yeah, the after, pie gets yeah, like smaller, small, and small. Smaller, so like yeah. when I learned that, I was like, mm, nah, 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 stay out the room. I go write this myself. I want, <laughs> I want hundred percent of the writing and stuff. Yeah. But like, do you, do you have anybody like a booking manager or bah, no more like nobody. when you do your DJ gigs? It's all you. Nah, yep, hundred percent all goes to you. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's how. Because I'm yep. I'm experiencing that too right now. Because uh, at first I had a manager and yep. then I don't have one anymore. But I just have an agent now. Mm. Um, but then I have like a like a team. I got a cameraman. I got openers at my shows. Ah. Um, you know, merch people. So it, it, it it's getting a little bit bigger. I like than the it. pie I love gets. It. 
get yeah, smaller. Yeah, get yeah. smaller. But they but just up up the ticket prices. There you go. Right, <laughs> right. You, you make the people pay. Yeah. Right, right, right. People, yeah. But it, it, like the business side and entertainment is a whole nother. Do like, you ever, do you ever get that where like um because I feel like with a lot of creatives I know it's like two different mindsets. There's never usually a guy who's good at both business and yeah, art. Yeah. 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 Um. Cause I, like when I first started, like I booked everything myself, so I kind of seen that side of it, like filling out the contracts and and seeing like oh the lighting cost this, the sound cost that, yeah, um, and like deposit fees and everything. But it, I could feel like it it can uh, be overwhelming, and I just want to just create material and and do comedy. Hundred percent. Yeah. Same like you, but yeah. like um, I mean I've seen a lot of your, your stories, and you're pretty much busy every weekend. You got something. Every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah, I just came from a, a commercial shoot. Oh yeah. Earlier, yeah, earlier today. What uh, yeah. what commercial is that? It's for Coral Ridge. It's a a new development. Uh, I know uh, NYPO, Yeah, NYPO, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coral Ridge. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And so, how did you let's start from the beginning? How did you get into the rap? <clears throat> I mean, oh, I okay. seen some so of the... in high school. I was a skater. Yeah. And uh, at Radford. At Radford. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. I actually got suspended for skating on school campus, like off premises, but that's why I was yeah. like, yeah, whatever. But um, Kaipo Kapua, he's a local musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went, he went to um, Mono Lua at Rachel, mm-hmm. um, like same around same time. But uh, they they had a studio, a music studio in school. Oh, okay. So one time we're at the skate park, and he hands me a CD. And I'm like, I, I go and listen to it on my way home. And I'm like, oh, this is actually like legit. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like some generic, you know, we all young boys. My, <laughs> my thought process back then was like, you got to go to a big studio to make music. Yeah. I didn't know you could do it in like a, a room this size. Mm-hmm. So that opened up my, my mind to like, oh, this is actually possible. Yeah. Cause, and then uh, I told him, hey, I got like this parody. So like my first song was over uh, 50 Cent's P.I.M.P. Yeah, yeah. That, that song. But um, I was talking about a, a dingling pump. So P-U-M-P. <laughs> so I was like, D-I-N-G-A-L-I-N-G. That's my dingling P-U-M-P. <laughs> then that's kind of like where it started. Yeah. Where like just doing, uh, having fun with the boys. And then I started getting my own equipment. I started asking people, hey, what, what, I, what do I need yeah. so I can just do this at home? Because I had an extra room at my house. So I turned my bedroom into a, a studio then it just became like the hood of people coming in, people recording. coming in, yeah. And then that's when I started learning. Yeah, started picking up like, oh, okay, now uh, if I'm recording the brothers, if I mess you up, it's whatever, it's free. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like you didn't pay for this, so that, that's like my Did you own record with them? Yeah, with, I, with the brothers. Oh no 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 oh, no! Oh no, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry like, no, yeah. I just I mean, had them yeah, on yeah, yeah. yesterday. That's why, as, <laughs> yeah, a, as a guest, the oh, brothers. Okay, I was thinking okay. of it in my head because um, they did some. Some they're talking about when they did their CD too. So I, I oh yeah, thinking, yeah yeah yeah. That's before my time. <laughs> yeah. Before my time. You're talking about actual yeah, brothers. Bras, yeah. the bras. <laughs> 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 but no, I had like a whole bunch of people come through. Uh, I actually worked on Rebel Soldiers before Rebel oh, Soldiers, man. so they would do a lot of their demo tapes with me. We're just was all in the same age and trying to figure things out. Yeah, and then they would take those demos and they uh, took it to Imua Garcia, and then he yeah. produced OP Pickers, the first yes, the yeah. first uh, Rebel Soldiers album. So like I got to see that growth. Oh, wow. I got to see a lot of a lot of a lot of us got to see each other. Yeah, grow up in the scene. But that's basically I was never really a rapper. I started off as a producer, mm. so I made beats for everybody. Yeah. But then now all my friends are rappers, and you are you are who right, you right. start hanging out with. So then, yeah, yeah. And these are this is back in the day when you had to do like three verses on a song. Uh-huh. Some people get lazy; they only do two, and then yeah. they just tell me, "Eh, what? Jump on the third. <laughs> so then I was just like the filler rapper. Yeah, yeah. Then I started like picking it up more, and uh, once I started working at Pizza, that's when I really got into it. To rapping, into rapping, yeah. Because I was a delivery driver. And you can't write and drive at the same time. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll play beats while I'm delivering, and then I'll freestyle over them. Mm. And then just everywhere I go, that's kind of what kept me up because I was a night owl and I had to work yeah, the yeah, day yeah. shift. Just like, oh, how right, yeah, I remember seeing videos of you in your Pizza Hut <laughs> outfit. Yeah. The, when you had hair back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And at like one, one basketball park, Bro, yeah, basketball oh, that, court. Okay, that story. <laughs> that that story is funny because there is this. Um, called Get Fresh Fridays at uh, Limited Addiction. They had a storefront in uh, Kalihi, just okay. a clothing store. Yeah. Every first of the m- Friday in the month, they would have um, hip-hop events. Yeah. 
Is that a small room? Small room. I think I've seen videos that's, of that's that, That's basically too. where I started Battle yeah, Rap. Yeah, like, connected him there, too? Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, one day, there's this guy, Jordan. Uh, he battled me, and he did good, but he choked in the second round. So, he's, like, salty. He needed to get back at me. Yeah. He, fought, he went to Mauna Loa. So, he found out I was working at Pizza Hut. So, he showed up at Pizza Hut. Uh, and he was like teasing me, yeah, you work at Pizza Hut, blah, 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 <laughs> whatever. Um, and then we're kind of in the same hood. He's from Salt Lake. I'm from Ali Manu. It's like right next door. Yeah. But he's like 10 years younger than me or something like that. So he was like claiming, ah, bro, nobody know you, bro. You're not from the hood or whatever. I'm like, yeah, ah, whatever. You know what? I battle you at your place then. Salt Lake Park. We go Salt Lake Park. <laughs> okay. And I <laughs> right after work, <laughs> he's still yeah. in my uniform, he's still in my Pizza Hut uniform. But, um, and so I called my boys. I was like, hey, come down to the park. I bring pizza for everybody. <laughs> Automatic, bro. Yeah. This guy shows up with like 10 people, 10 of his friends. And yeah. get, given, he's in high school. You know what I mean? Like, right, that's right. when you get the most friends. I, bro, I show up with like 50 people. <laughs> the funniest part of that battle was the friends he showed, like couple, two of his friends that he showed up, I showed up with the older brothers. Oh. <laughs> so the brother said, hey, what you doing over there? Come on this side. Oh, his whole demeanor just like, oh, oh damn. This guy, like, because we're just different age gap. That's yeah, all it is. Yeah, but that, yeah. that's kind of the battle that put me on. Yeah. That battle is like. Uh, that's the one at the park. Just, yeah. The, yeah, just, yeah. The way, just the way it unfolded. But he was like, oh, this is Is that epic. still on YouTube? It might still be on there. Yeah. yeah. I got to yeah. check it I out. Check, yeah. Yeah. The, the rap game was it, like in Hawaii goes goes back like. It was kind of like a, a a rap boom era, yeah, when you first started. Yeah, because um, like I, be, I mean, I would go down the rabbit hole of all the videos. Yeah, the old videos of the, I mean, Kaneki was on there. Mm-hmm. Even uh, Yumi Doll too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. was, you was, yeah, you was I would, in I'd tune, watch huh? him, I'd watch a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, um, it's actually funny because the the previous age gap between before me always did it, but they never did it on camera. Yeah, so, like I was kind of the pioneer of like filming rap battles yeah so that's why like the 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 yumi dolls and konekis they all they all came from the battle era of yeah, those videos was going viral back then i remember yeah. we'd all watch it like as kids because it was like, there's nothing funny. else like it that's yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of unique yeah yeah Inter- entertainment wise right right yeah, yeah. do they still have like those events wow, today it's been it's been a while yeah i think because now because that was a very first stage of like youtube Mm-hmm. But now we get Instagram, TikTok. Too now, much now, bro. You get if you get like <laughs> demolished in a battle rap, that thing's gonna last forever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. It's like now you gotta be more cautious. Like, oh, do I really want to go through this? Cause yeah. mm, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> or if you did something, you know, someone's gonna pull out that history book, you yeah, know, and yeah. put it put you on blast in front of everybody. Right, right. Yeah. Well, so when you when you I never rap battled someone. So like, do you? Is it all straight off the dome, or you? Or you have prepared lines and you kind of like insert it, but just changing the subject, you know? Uh, so in the beginning, yes, it was freestyle. Yeah. Because at, at those Get Fresh battles, you just show up. Yeah, and you don't I know who no you... I idea who the yeah. next, you know? So it's like, the first time I seen you, yeah. I just got to come up with it. And you just like make stuff like what they're wearing and... Yeah. Yeah. The race, the yeah, yeah, stereotypical. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like changing jokes, but adding a, yeah, a, yeah. a rhyme to the end That's of it. I'm thinking. But I see some... Yeah. some freestyling videos i'm like oh there's no way this guy thought of that on the spot like, oh he no must yeah have... so that was the beginning yeah it, it graduated to a point where you're prepared yeah like I, i'm assuming like comedy yeah you yeah. don't just come on there like you got yeah, some yeah. stuff where it's like i'm gonna say this today. yeah it's all material yeah yes, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say it. that's kind of how bad rap is now yeah so it's more prepared that's why it's a lot more clever now mm. because you see could you tell if someone's prepared. freestyling or not yeah you can yeah it's harder now but most people yeah yeah you can tell yeah yeah it's it, it, for the normal eye you probably can't cannot yeah yeah a lot of them can claim the freestyling yeah but yeah like i always see like like clips on like rappers on like the breakfast club and they give them like four words oh yeah and they yeah, come yeah. up with a whole yeah whole see thing. that's how you could kind of tell who's that, kind of freestyling if you yeah. give them like a game yeah. If you just tell them to spit something and they spit, it's probably something it's they there, memorized yeah. already. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. And well, when did you get into DJing? I got into DJing 2010. It was like after rap. So I started. I started rapping maybe like 2006 yeah. to 2010. 
So I got into DJing because um, on accident, Koneki was my roommate yeah. at the time. He was doing like <laughs> club promoting. Yeah. And um, they were they were tired of the promoter taking all their money because they felt like they brought all the people but was getting, you know, the chump change. So him and his boys broke off and started doing their own thing. Uh, they got a club. This was Hush. This is funny because this is uh, Ray Jr. Major Raja. This is yeah, his yeah, dad's yeah. club. <laughs> oh, for real? So that's how I met him too. So like, <laughs> that's why I say like everything is like connected. connected. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's my first like club gig was at Hush. Um, Koneki, they, they got this, but then they realized they didn't have a DJ because the mm. DJ wasn't going to leave their other party. Yeah. So he's like, bro, I'm pretty sure my roommate can DJ, you know. He has all the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I had turntables at my house, but it was more for sampling music mm-hmm. for production-wise. And then uh, once he once he asked me, he's like, yo, we have a party, our first party next month. Can you DJ? Yeah. And I already had, uh, I, well, like I said, I went to Radford. So in school, we had this uh, crew, Nocturnal Sound Crew. They were the world champion DJs. Oh, world yeah. champ in high Nocturnals. school. Nocturnals. Nocturnal Sound Crew. Yeah. So uh, Jammy and Solution was in like school when we was in school, high school together. Yeah. And then Compose is the a uh, little bit older than us, mm-hmm. but yeah, they they were world champs. Mm-hmm. Like even in high school, it's like, come on now. Yeah, Not yeah. like they would they would win in New York, then they would go to Germany and then win Germany. So I always knew what DJing was, but their kind of DJing is like turn tip. T- turntableism like the scratching the all kind of crazy so like i old school kind old school yeah yeah so i would not like think but then serato came out that's a dj program where yeah. basically kind of does about that. everything for you yeah so once that came out i asked him like yo I, I my friend wants me to dj can you teach me how to dj i spent like a day in yeah. there it's like oh this is too easy 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 <laughs> Because you're already was, producing. Yeah, I was already producing. So you know, like the beats per measure and, yep. and all that. Yeah. 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 So that's how I got into DJing. Yeah. On accident. But now you, that you're you pretty much known as a DJ yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. You like DJing or, or rapping better? Uh, oh. Okay, so when I really started DJing, I stopped rapping. Hmm. Because I could do one gig and make as much money from that one gig DJing than yeah. I would do in a whole year of rapping. Yeah, yeah. So it almost like like why am I rapping for? There's like no end goal. Right. You know, there's no uh there's nobody for me to look up to. Mm-hmm. There's not like a, a rapper from Hawaii where I'm like, yes, I'm gonna yeah. be like that guy, you know? Yeah, that's the thing about like I mean there's so much good rappers in Hawaii, but what is your opinion on like rappers in Hawaii uh making it up another level, like coming out of Hawaii? I think the biggest thing is finances. Or, or who or who who did it? Or who did it? Yeah. I don't think anybody has a resume to like claim that spot yet. I think people done things. Yeah. I think like uh High Town DJs had that song, um, Give me a ring a ling if you want some ding a ling. <laughs> That's big T's actually. Big T's? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't big T's, yeah. I think they hit Billboard. Oh, somewhere really? in the Billboard. Yeah. But they were in that era of like two live crew, yeah. sixty nine boys. So their music matched. Mm. So you can plug it in to that playlist and still not realize it was like yeah. a Hawaii artist. Because there's good songs. I mean, you got good good songs. There's a lot of people here. But is it, like, I always wonder how come it doesn't go out even more. Is it because it's not relatable? Uh, th- that's, That could be one. One, like, because nobody's going to listen to Pigeon 101 if you're not yeah, from here. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, me limiting myself. Right, right, right. But it, um, also, it's like an infrastructure. Yeah. So, like, comedy, right? How far can you go? In yeah. comedy, right? And then you got to, someone pushes the boundaries. Yeah. And uh, we don't have the infrastructure musically, especially for rap, mm. to go to compete. My thing is, even as a DJ or even as a radio person, whatever your song is, it's got to fit in my playlist that I'm currently playing. Mm. That's why I like something like a High Town DJ's one yeah, yeah. fit. Where I, if I'm playing Drake, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, mm-hmm. Is your song gonna match while I'm playing those songs, or is it gonna be so far out people are gonna stop moving or stop or leave the dance floor, yeah, or turn the the radio station to a next one, yeah? And I think that's that's the that's just the game we gotta right. play. It's yeah. like yo, know, you gotta you gotta kind of fit in, but then also then th- that's kind of where rap in general is getting generic because now everybody's just chasing the sound yeah oh yeah. that person hit the number one or oh, i gotta make a record like that yeah, yeah 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 well just like even like polynesians in general i mean there's some like polynesian rappers that kind of went out there too 
Yeah. Um, what is the... Uh, it's a whole poly movement right now. Yeah. Yeah. I seen a documentary. I forget the name of it. About the, 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 the group in New Zealand. Did okay. You watch, did you watch that one? No, 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 no. No. Ah, oh, I forget the name. Oh, it, it, I think... Uh, uh, the uh, Dawn... Break of Dawn or something. Or the Dawn Raid. Dawn Raid uh, Productions was the name of their, their producing crew. Mm. And then they brought on like a lot of Polynesian rappers. And a lot of them... Um, some of them made it to, to the top. I forget yeah. the name. That's who sings the song "Swing." Oh, uh, um, Savage. Yeah, Savage okay, was yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. yep. he's from um, Bay Area or something. I don't know, but he's Polynesian. Yep. So there, there's a few that that, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. hit that market. Yeah. You know, you know what it is too. I in, Ho- in in Hawaii, I think what we need is the drug dealers for back up the rappers. Yeah, yeah, that's how I mean, that's how they all made it. Yeah, the, yeah that's how yeah. you know Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, uh, Death Row Records, all all these r- big records, like whether you want to admit it or not, <laughs> they were funded by like drug yeah. money. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have the finances for mm. for someone to become a big rapper. You need a, you need big money. That's yeah. it's just the music industry is pay to play. Yeah. Like there's only so far you can get with viral moments now. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say social media changed that too a lot. Like when we see like all these these rappers like go viral on social media and and take off. Yeah. Kind of like um, was Ice Spice one of them too? Yeah. That, that she started off she was yeah. broke and poor, right? Yeah. 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 And made a couple of videos like that and, and. Well, now now the music industry looks for um. Just call them plants, basically. Yeah, that's, like, she might be a plant too. Yeah, that's yeah, what like, I was thinking. Oh, we we can we can capitalize on this movement going on. Yeah, let's plug her in. Yeah, you gotta get in the funnel. Yeah, because the music industry owns pretty much all the you know the top of whatever you need to yeah. get into Spotify, Apple Music, uh, TikTok, yeah. algorithms. You gotta plug yourself in. Somehow. I heard all the numbers is is fake too, though. And Spotify, one hundred percent, with the rap, with the the celebrities and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. They have like entire warehouses of just phones, just constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I see yeah. that too. They're, they're trying crazy. to crack down on it now. Yeah, because Spotify and other streaming services pay out money. Right. Now they is like, whoa, this this if this is fake streams, why I'm gonna pay you for fake streams? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't even know what's real or not these days. Yeah. And, yeah, and a lot of people just look at numbers. Even as a DJ, yeah, a lot of people, they'll just go on my Instagram and be like, oh, he has X amount of followers. Oh, yeah, hire him already. Mm. I'm like, what if that's all fake? All fake followers. You know what yeah. I mean? Because like, like, there is people like that, you know, yeah. that, that yeah. have it. But I noticed that's the go-to for people that aren't in tune. Mm-hmm. They just look at face value. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How do you come up with your, your, your parodies and your... Like the the ones that go viral, like you just because a lot of it is like current topics, you know, that's been mm. happening in Hawaii yeah, specifically. So, but some lines is is pretty pretty heavy that you come up with. Right now we do um on high 93, 93.1. Oh, the angry locals, angry locals, yeah, angry locals. We do angry locals freestyle Friday. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Styles who got that whole ball rolling, but it's his Steezy and Rella show. Yeah, uh, I think during the pandemic, kind of fought. Yeah, his, you guys was pumping them out. Kind of fought his boss for it. Like, hey, yeah. bro, what? Five minutes. Five, I'm on. Sh- I'm on air for five hours. Can I get five minutes of this one yeah. segment? I want. So so now we do like every Friday. We, we we used to do it on the spot, but then when COVID happened, and everybody couldn't you know meet up with each other. Yeah. So we ended up doing uh Thursdays at my studio. That's actually what I'm gonna do after this. Oh, for real? Yeah. So we can figure so out. You guys. So how do you come up with the topics? Though we sit there and we just kind of just Think. shoot 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 ideas. Yeah. We we'll go through like the news cycle. See what's popping right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so um, last week was like the Diddy ad- allegations. Yeah, so we just talked about Diddy and his all his drama. I don't know. Oh, what so you guys no, don't. Normally... You know what? I'll let you pick this one. For what this this week? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, see, you know what I mean? Yeah, what's happening? Not, nothing... right? So you guys do it every week. You guys have every a song. Friday. Yep, yep. Every Friday. Yep. Then I think that's kind of what's been like. And you record it like Thursday. Thursday. And, and then it gets released Friday. It airs seven and nine a.m. Oh, on the radio. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, because yep. today's yep. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you guys don't even know what you can talk about today. Nah. <laughs> so I, I think you know that's kind of like uh, sharpening our skill set. Yeah, also. it's like good like improv. Yep. Game. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need to do that. Do you, for, yeah, for do you have games when you like you know? Um. No, I mean I took like, some, some improv kind of classes and they had yeah. like games there, but when I come up with my material, it's just whatever I'm experiencing at the moment. Like now, I'm, I'm having a kid soon, so 
Speaking so of now you can have like some, that. yeah, 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 you yeah, some yeah. daddy bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> some uh, dealing with a pregnant woman kind oh, drama. Yeah, yeah. There you Plenty go. Any of that. Yeah, because that's it, relatable. It's relatable. Super yeah. relatable. That's what I, I look for is if is this relatable to my audience specifically, yeah. and then um, adding like my Hawaii twist to it. But no, no, no one make it to Hawaii where you got to be from Hawaii to understand it. Right. Because I do shows in the mainland too. See, so you're you. Are thinking how rappers should, yeah. You know, like we we haven't we haven't reached the mainland audience yet, like how you did. Yeah. But once you start doing it, then you realize, oh, okay, now I have to write accordingly to the audience. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 all universal too. Like funny is funny, and then whatever true music is music too. Yeah. Like just drop the pigeon a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or it's like, because huh? I mean, you'd be surprised. Every I feel like. A lot of people know what Holly is now. Yeah. yeah. It's in everything now. You know? <laughs> and then it's like a Polynesian boom right now with like Lilo and Stitch. Iom Tongi just won American yep. Idol. Um, they're making a live remake of Moana. I mean, not saying that's... I mean, no, those yeah, are yeah. like staple yeah, Polynesian. Yeah, yeah. But that's like for the, it's the getting white better. audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. getting better like from way, way before. And um, yeah, we're just growing, I feel like. So uh, people are knowing Hawaii. And it's 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 a good good start. Yeah. So you'd be surprised at what they know and they, they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We get like fifty, sixty thousand uh tourists every week. Every week, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You guys had a tourist song yet? I'm sure you did, uh. Or the Holly the Holly one. Yeah. yeah. It's kinda like writing comedy material. That's why I made that comment. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I think I might try to get into you like some try stand it. up, you, you know? Try. Did you ever try stand up? I never tried. Yeah. It's just like, something I was just like uh uh, it's almost like battle rap. I saw my friends do it, so I knew I could yeah. eventually do it. M- maybe not as good. Who's um, you know Ray LeMay? Yes. Yeah, he's in uh, yeah. like radio ish kind. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. So, we, we, he does comedy. I did too, a yeah. few podcasts with him early, early on, just like yeah. to test out. But then we never got to release them. But yeah, he's funny. He's, he's got good accents. Yeah. No. Yeah. The impersonations. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, his e gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Kermit the stuff. Frog, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, I, when I watch people I know do it, that gives me more confidence, like, you know. Yeah, you should try yeah. it. Um, they got open mics op- here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where, where, where's the spot um, I can try out? Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Well, Tuesdays they have at uh, Hawaiian Brian's Slack Key Room. Oh, okay. You know that little room yep. on the right-hand side? Yep, yep. Yeah. So every Tuesday they have comedy. They have a feature show, and then after the show they have open mic. Okay, as a person who never did comedy, give me some pointers. What, 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 what I got to prepare myself for? Uh, shoot. Well, I think when you first, they'll probably give you like a three minute set. So just come up with three minutes of material. Okay. okay. I would say don't go up and have nothing prepared. Right. I right, mean, right. you can. Nah, you can nah, try nah, nah, and, nah, nah, nah. and like talk to the audience and do crowd but work. Three minutes but no. is fast. You gotta kind of, you kind of gotta. Boom, it's fast. Boom, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'd say, yeah, have have a written material prepared, and then um, the best thing is to just go up and do it because people always like. Say they're gonna do it and then they, they back out. Mm. Yeah, I know so many people are saying, "Oh, I want to do comedy. I want to yeah. do comedy." I said, "Okay, just get on stage. That's the the main thing you got to do. Just get on stage." But they can't seem to to cross that. But, See, that's why I want to do it because I yeah, you've been like, in front of crowds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like, that ah, easy. It's, yeah, I'm not gonna get that stage butterflies yeah. or nerves. Yeah, I, I still get nervous. It's it's good to be nervous. It uh, makes you alert and it humbles you. I feel yeah. like, um, but you don't want to get to a point where you're too cocky. Yeah, and then, yeah, then yeah, that's yeah. when it can backfire on you. Yeah. But yeah, just be yourself. I mean, just the simple things everybody says, that's like it. going on a first date or whatever, you know, just be yourself. Uh. Um, yeah, have written material, be yourself, and be confident and be okay that that you might bomb. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think no, that's, don't be worried about it. I think that's like the learning nothing, experience yeah. for every, anything you like. People. I think right now with social media and how it's presented, everybody just thinks you have to be successful right away. Yeah. Where, nah, there's there's some learning curves to do. Yeah, so I, like, yeah. If, I, if I do comedy, it's probably not going to be the best, you yeah, know? Yeah, but yeah. eventually, if I yeah. stick with it. You should try. Yeah. You should try to come out yeah. next week. Next week? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm coming out. Next week, I'm going to come out I, to I'll watch. Go, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, watch, that's what I was going to say. Come out and first. watch yes. the open mic. Mm-hmm. I mean, watch the feature show too. And then the... Cause it's just, um, yeah. Jose Dynamite runs it okay. from Comedy U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Wednesdays is at uh, Anna O'Brien's. Okay. You know where that is? Yeah, yep. On University. Yeah. They have comedy night there, and then after the show, there's a 
open mic and there's like 15 20 people sign up everybody gets three minutes wow and um yeah when you watch them your motivation i mean your confidence gonna go up even more yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. These, <laughs> these guys <laughs> suck. Well, and you, and you can see what works too yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of like drunk people some homeless people going up yeah um but that that's also yeah builds confidence for you to actually do it because then you look around they're like yeah this guy this guy just bombed but who cares you yeah know? well so okay when you go to these things kind of often yeah here and there like is these it, i like to pop in and test out new material right yeah so I, i've been seeing that with like uh comics they kind of like to do small room stuff oh yeah test it out and then yeah see what works gotta, yeah. bring it to the big yeah because yeah. i'm at a point right now where i'm trying to flip my whole new new hour of material how often you got to do that you feel like i'd say like every every 12 to 18 months yeah yeah so you like do like year. uh like let's say you have an hour we do like a tour tour yeah and then you got to kind of the same hour and then kind of but as like, you're touring you come up with newer stuff so you're kind of <clears> adding that in taking the the old stuff out um because you don't want to go back to the same city where you have the same same jokes right but some of it it's okay too because they're like they're classics you know right, like, oh right. how come you never tell this about the see the you're like guy? a musician yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. you get a new album, you got to do yeah. that tour for that one. Yeah. So you got, sometimes you got to still do the classics that everybody right, know. Right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, some cities, like, I do the same same exact show, but it's different because the audience is different. Mm. I do a lot of crowd work too, so I talk talk to the crowd in between jokes. And I know that's all, like, just riffing. And then maybe something pops up, like, oh, this girl talked about Walmart. Oh, I got a three minute bit of Walmart in my head. Mm. And then boom. Talk so you a battle that. rapper. Yeah. That's so exactly that looks like oh, this guy did, did this yes. on the top of his head. Yeah. 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 You gonna tease me about that? I get material for that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Bottles yeah. Ready. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, that's pretty much. And you want to give the illusion that you're saying it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like say too much on like. The yeah. Camera. Yeah. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you after the yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I get it because I kind of like I said I feel like battle rap is the same concept. Yeah. Of how you approach of working the audience. Oh, yeah. 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 Especially because there's a crowd, too. There's a crowd, yeah. 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 And I'm sure you've seen some battle raps where they're you know they're performing and it's it's horrible yeah. oh yeah you, you know to me it's like the people who ba uh who practice in front of a mirror too much mm. you know and that was a thing when when i was like helping kaneki do battle raps yeah he would practice you know and be like all animated and stuff but he didn't realize um It'll i would do natural. like i would do exercises with him to like throw him off because you never know when like you hit maybe you hit a bar so hard yeah. the audience is like, whoa and it throws you off mm. right it's like not your your train of thought was just boom 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 one line one line one line but yeah. now you got to pause because the audience and then oh damn well, i forgot those, i forgot a, where where i left off at a lot of those battle raps there's no music right no beat no just straight acapella oh so that's even harder than yeah to like with you the timing you can't mass back in the days like the 90s where like eight mile eminem style yeah. right most people know battle rap from it was on from beat that. yeah but you could hide not having bars with the beat because now you can have a rhythm you can have a flow it's so yeah. not every but now it's like yo if you don't say something like where i can write down in a caption on ig like something worthy quotable yeah if you don't have that within like 30 seconds then we not rocking with you yeah like yeah, yeah. you're just talking bro stop bro give yeah. me something i want to hear it yeah so now it's harder because now the the audience is also like they they, they demand more of like your skill set mm. yeah because it's out there more same like comedy for me like when i watch comedy it's like yo where the punchline at yeah you know well, it, like you said too it's yeah. similar to comedy because the there's rhythm too in comedy yes. like there's certain things where if you just say it in a perfect timing way yeah like blah, 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 a little pause and then boom Hit. even if there's not a punchline they're gonna laugh because yeah, 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 yeah. they're used to like okay this is his rhythm he's gonna da -da -da -da, and then da. And then when he says the last part i'm supposed to laugh yeah and then this is like little tricks that i do but if you pause even a little longer they feel sit. a little uncomfortable. So when you say the line, they're going to laugh no matter what. They're like, oh, okay. Uh, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. it's almost like a little hack, a little cheat. Yeah, see. But it's all, it's all like, that's when you break down like the science of, of comedy and rhythm. But yeah, it is very similar to rap battle and hitting the lines and kind of like you said, you could hide the, the bars a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, something, some, you know, some jokes that you know 
not gonna hit as hard. But if I deliver it, yeah, deliver it, yeah, right, yeah. like yeah, like Chris Rock, like you, if you if you see his like his whole sets when he performs it, it's hilarious. But if you have it, if you see it on uh, on paper, it doesn't seem funny at all. But the right. way he says it, yeah. the way he pauses his facial features, I mean, that can take it to another level. That's how I feel with um, working with um, like Jamaican artists. Hmm. For some reason, that accent and the way they do it. Yeah. Like, let me write you something. Yeah. You know, yeah, and it's yeah. like no matter what they say, it's just like. Did you write? Whoa. Did you write uh, songs for anybody? Yeah, yeah. I wrote. Uh, I try to write songs for other people because it puts me in a different mindset. Mm. You know, like things I wouldn't rap about. Yeah. Like I'm not rapping. Like, about. oh, this will be perfect for you here. You yeah. could have this. Yeah. So, like, yeah. or you know, I don't do love songs. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I'm more of like. Well, right now I'm more in the movement of like. Uh, struggle like struggle mm. rap you know like uh, i like that kind of stuff right now like struggling like financially anything right because right now uh you know rap was like glorified like um boss right like i, I make so much money i got this shoes yeah. this jewelry this like i'm a businessman me i'm more like uh I, well right now i like the struggle of like how you gonna buy one house in hawaii right now mm. you know what i mean like well, how come people moving out yeah from the place they love or uh, hard forget jobs, good paying jobs, or yeah. you know, like that's like the yeah. everyday thing that I'm seeing. That's what I like. That's rapping relatable about. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like to rap about that right now. But so if I wanted to do like a love song, I'm like, I don't want to do a love song, but I write it for somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. And what what is your process when you write a song? Do you like come up with a like a storyline first, or you just have like a like a like a a line in your head, like oh, I want to want to riff off of this line. So yeah, so it's different, right? Sometimes. Um, kind of depends on what the inspiration is. Yeah. So um, sometimes it's like watching a movie. Yeah. And almost taking that same concept the movie did, mm -hmm. but then let me try wrap my inf my yeah. side of it, or it could be like one line, a mm -hmm. quote that I like. Damn, that resonated with me. I, I want to do some let parody music too. This way. Oh, Let's I got try. you. You yeah. gotta come over come the studio. To, yeah, oh, yeah. It's automatic now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, I just don't know how to how to write it. Or like, I I feel like I, if there's a popular regular song, yep. I can and just take the lines in the beat. Hundred percent. That's the way that. to start. That's yeah, how that's I started. But I don't know how to start from scratch with no the whole yeah, beat. Because yeah, yeah. I would have to come to like a producer and they would give me a beat. But you see how you know the hacks of comedy. Yeah. And you you probably watch comics and you notice the patterns. Yeah. That they use the timing they use. It's the same when you're doing music. You're gonna you're gonna start doing these parodies where, like, I started with the Fifty Cent PIMP. I just yeah. took his exact flow, yeah. just changed the words. Same with like Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, that's, it. that's the they easiest know. way to do it. right? That's the easiest way. But yeah. once you start doing it, then you realize how they did it because mm. you start picking up. You because you now you're breaking down that song into pieces. Yeah. Once you realize how they put it together that's right. when you start being more creative and can come yeah. up with your original stuff right right yeah did you ever go to a music school nothing no, nothing Ab not even graduate just that's it yeah. I mean, yeah, after, I, I mean no more school after high school i'm a, I'm a hands-on learner yeah. like i cannot learn anything from like a book can you read music i cannot read music i you can't cannot. even play instruments for real bro cannot. not even the piano not even the piano, but I get a cheat code on the piano. I get one program where I just press one key and the thing play full chords for me. So I just go boom and I can put them in like A minor and then yeah, I can just yeah. hit any key and the thing going to be in that scale. Oh, but do you know like keys and stuff? No. If no. he told me for playing the song, I, would, uh, I wouldn't know. Wow. So but how do you make like beats and stuff? From and just learning the technology on how to yeah. do it. Yeah. It's almost um, like, yeah. Um, right now, like. I could, in Serato, I could stem out a song, a real song. So stems, yeah. like, I could take the vocals out, the melody, the bass, and the drums. In any song. In any take song. It out. Take it out. Crazy it technology. Yeah, yeah, so I can yeah. split it up. So now I have the drum pattern. So boom, boom, pap, boom, boom, pap. Now yeah. I can, the, the um, program I can use could take that drum pattern, boom, boom, pap, boom, boom, pap. But then now I can change the sounds. Mm. So make it like. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I could flip the bass. I it would tell me the bass. I could take the bass note. Yeah. And the computer would tell me, okay, that's B, uh, D, and E, whatever, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. then now I just re. That's it's all it is. It's, it's just, all in Serato. It's all in Serato. All, all over. Oh yeah, all kind. You can do all. <laughs> it's like unlimited right yeah. now of what you can so do. So if I want to make up a song, I and I just need a beat. I'll just ask you, can you give me a 
do you have a beat I could use? Yeah. And then from there, I would come up with lyrics. Yep. Or lyrics first, and then. Either way. Either way. Either yeah. way. I like try though. I like try. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> yeah. There's 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 programs right now where you can beatbox into the mic. Yeah. And it'll just translate it into the beat. Wow. You don't even need to know anything about music. Then. You know, you just gotta know what how to good. or how to just program. That's what yeah. it really is. It's programming. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And that's why, like, almost every new song that comes out now, it's like a a sample from an old song. Yeah. That's I mean that's that's what hip hop's based off of. Yeah, hip hop in from the beginning they, they didn't have producers, mm-hmm. so they would take old disco records. Yeah. and do the instrumental side and then rap over it. How how often do you make songs? Uh, like, well, right now at least at least a couple times a week. You know, I'll a couple times a week you have a new song already. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're like not fully made songs. Yeah. I just got ideas and I want to put them out. Sometimes they're just one verse. Sometimes they're just a hook. But then I'll always be able to come back to it. Mm. Um, like, uh, like do you do you like write it in your phone or something? Like if you're driving, yeah. like oh, I got a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Voice Same like comedy too. Like oh, this exactly, is good. Right? It's a good. Because you're gonna forget it. Yeah. Bro. You're gonna you know forget. What I mean? yeah, something yeah. inspires you in that moment. You yeah. better capture it. Or something happens to yep. you. Standing in line at Home Depot, oh, I got to write about it. Yeah. So sometimes I'm like scrolling through my notes and be like, oh, okay, I can yeah. use this. For, Same here for too. This. I look at my old notes like, yeah. oh, I don't even remember why I wrote this Right, down. right. <laughs> but it's good to have that, you yeah, know? Yeah. Never know what comes. Uh, and especially like uh, like Common Kings is in town right now and they're going to come to the studio, right? Oh, they are. So I'm like, damn, I'm looking through my stuff. Like I don't have anything for common kings yeah i want to be prepared because when they come in i want to be like hey listen to this beat or listen to this song what are, they, what are they coming in for to record music yeah 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 so actually um i was their dj for a couple years oh cool um back in 2013 to 15 yeah we, we did a few tours together so <laughs> yeah i'm a big common kings fan yeah yeah Come to the studio to learn then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, I see you guys work late in there too, yeah? Uh, you know why that's the best time? Yeah. Because there's I was no, dis- ask that. There's no uh, distractions. Because I've seen some of your, your stories. Yeah. Not, not like I'm a stalker or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but watch like you, you, I watch you. You work until like 5, 6 a.m. Yeah. I mean, that's um, kids are sleeping. Yeah. Nothing's open. Like no stores. Yeah. No restaurants anymore. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, so you get no calls from friends no or calls, texts. Bra- no, nothing to distract you, so yeah. you can fully focus on. I agree your art. too. That's the best, yeah. the best time. Yeah. So, w- w- when would you start working if you finish like around six a.m., like from ten p.m. You my, go all the way. My, I don't have like a set schedule, but yeah. my ideal schedule is sleep from eight to two, eight eight a.m. to two p.m. when the kids are in school. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like so my, you're supposed to be sleeping right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's supposed to. That's why I said it's not set. Yeah, but um, well, you know, also because if I wake up at two and the kids come home at two, yeah. we're both. I'm fully energized. The, how ready. much kids you got? Four. Four. Yeah. So I'm ready to go. Yeah. And then so like I'll spend that two to nine with them, usually. Yeah. So we do you know sports, um, some homework. Okay. And movie whatever yeah. dinner and then when when they go to sleep about nine ten o'clock that's usually when i go to work mm. if DJing. i'm djing then it's you know like a 10 to 2 10 to 4 then i go to the studio after yeah if i'm not but DJing, you go to school like around 4 a.m what's that you go to the studio around four yeah yeah, yeah sometimes yeah, yeah. yeah. like on, the, on friday saturday i probably i probably go like yeah yeah 4 a.m yeah, like yeah. do like a four to eight uh-huh. session but if i'm not djing like tonight I, I'm, I don't have a gig tonight but i'll probably go to the studio from like 10 yeah. p.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. Busy. It's just, you know, yeah. kinda, it's got to keep my mind going. And I think once you, like, uh, develop a habit, and then you, you don't feel busy. Mm-hmm. You just feel like this is normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you do all, like, video editing, too? Yeah. And all I that. Do, Cause you, do, you do videography, too, a little video, bit? I do it, yeah. I do it because I had to. Yeah. You know, like, when I was actually on tour with Common Kings, what I, I started, that's when I branched out of Hawaii mm. and started getting mainland connects yeah and then but these guys don't know who i am so i always ask for a resume hey mm. what you got and i'm like damn i don't know people in hawaii just hire me because i'm cool bro. <laughs> yeah. like, you know <laughs> and so um that's when i realized like okay i gotta i gotta get a resume so i started hiring videographers mm. who are expensive mm. so yo you're making more than me 
Yeah. I'd rather do your job than my job. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's when, that's how I got into videography. And then I start just picking people's brain. What what kind what kind of equipment you got? What you running? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, so you got the full package then. Like when you do like like a wedding, for example, you can yep. DJ hundred percent. You MC too. I can MC, but MC. I it's easy. you got to pick the DJ or the MC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you do both. I tell three, people that all three, the time. Like, three uh, package deal. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I've I've done I've done a lot of weddings where I do um where I'll, I'll go in and be like, yo, let me do the sound, let me do. Yeah. The, I got MCs. If not, you know, I can have one of the angry locals do it. Mm-hmm. Um, DJ, and I'll do your videography, mm. and we'll just. Give you ever you the did full those uh, same same day edits for the wedding? That's what I prefer, actually. We were talking. Me and Yoda was talking about that because yeah. they, they said there people hardly do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh. they they still do. Okay, so yeah, they do. They're just super expensive. Yeah. They just cut, charge ridiculous amounts. But how how I got into that is because I would. I started uh, filming concerts, mm. so a lot of like um, whoever is at Republic, yeah, I'll just go and film. But you're you're doing the same thing over and over, right? So there's only so much I could capture the crowd, you moving, talking, whatever. I'll just only do like the first twenty minutes, then yeah. I'll go in my car and edit, edit it, and then give it to them by the time they get off stage. And like, what? How'd you get this so fast? Oh, they do. You give it at the concert. At the wow, concert, wow. yeah. <laughs> so that's how I kind of. St- I uh, started like just yeah. because the I use the same editing program that I use to make music. So like the transition between editing audio and editing video was yeah. like a breeze. Same shortcut, same program, everything. Mm-hmm. So I was fast at that. So now I want to do same day edits because I don't want to deal with you after today. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> we're done. Our contract is done after today. Here's all your footage. Here's yeah. your video. I got other things I got to do. That's why. <laughs> and, the, and the problem that I have with a lot of um, creatives is if they don't finish it in a certain time period, you're probably never going to get it. Yeah. Like once, once it gets past Editing is editing is tough. Yeah. Ed, I hate editing. Yeah. Yeah. You have so much material and you got to just chop it down boom, even boom, more. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's even smaller now. Yeah. Because everything's quicker. The yeah. Fast pace. Yeah. Have you got into like TikTok too? Do you have TikTok? I have TikTok, but I literally don't even go on. I just, whatever I'm posting on Instagram, I just post on. Yeah. I, I don't. Same here. I don't I used to, engage. I used to, when I first started like doing comedy stuff, I used to get into TikTok and do specific things for TikTok. Yeah. Because I wouldn't post on Instagram because I thought it was cringe. Oh, so, yeah? Yeah. Or just something like. Oh, you, what, what, what? Like, give me an example. Like, there's certain things you can do on TikTok that you can't do on yeah, other stuff. Yeah, I feel like. Because yeah? there's different audiences. Uh, TikTok's more of a younger crowd or like trends going on that Instagram wouldn't understand. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, like, doing like whatever is a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you was yeah. doing like some, some TikTok. No, I wasn't dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> but, like, um,. Yeah, like certain certain trends. Like I did one. Um, what your uh, uh, Zippy's food item says about you? Okay. Yeah, I did that one, um, but I didn't post it on Instagram. But that one did well on TikTok. Even like the the high school thing, I did that. I seen that. I seen you say Rafford in there. Yeah, <laughs> but I did an older version in TikTok. Oh, okay. About just talking what your high what what high school you went to says about you. And um, but yeah, now I just did it because the the of course challenge the trend of that course. they're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, that why. that makes sense. Yeah, but that was yeah, picking yeah. up in like in Instagram, too. Instagram. But yeah. it first started in TikTok, and then it was like it kind of died down. And then it picked up again on Instagram because all these celebrities was posting it. So then I was like, oh, maybe I do a high school one. So as a comic, do you feel like you have to be like in tune with like whatever's yeah, going on, current events, current yeah, events, yeah, constantly, like, yeah, like. I just remember like two or uh, like when the pandemic happened, I had a whole so much COVID jokes mm. or so much things that are going on in in Hawaii, and they didn't allow you to perform. No, no, they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> but yeah, that you gotta watch what you say sometimes. But um, but in the end, it's a comedy show, and they're here to laugh. And yeah. if you're here to get offended, then you then why are you here? See, same like battle rap. Yeah. Like, you know what you signed up for. Yeah. We're going to get it in. We're going to yeah. say some stuff you probably won't want to hear. Got, you got someone got pissed off at you or wanted to all, fight? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I got to be prepared. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I mean, I grew up doing martial arts my whole life. Oh. So, it's, uh, um, and then my dad was, uh, my dad is Ray Ronquillo. He's a stingray. So, if you guys ever heard of stingray competition. 
the bodybuilding. Oh, show. bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So I would say he's a he's an animal stingray. No, he's an animal. <laughs> you know? so I heard of the stingray. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the paradise cup. Right, you took out you know crocodile Dundee. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so my whole life, you know, I, I had this bodybuilder guy yeah. who'd give me lickings. Mm. So my mentality, if I ever had a fought someone my size, I'd laugh. I'd be like, bro, yeah. I get lickings from this guy all the time. I yeah, can guarantee yeah, yeah. take your cracks. So my demeanor in battle rap, when I battled people, was like, I was, if we fight, we fight, bro. It's down. But a lot of people that I know, I, you can look into someone's eyes yeah. when you're rapping against them and, and they're mad. Throw and punch then, bro. I dare yeah. you. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like troll fit and cry. Like, ah, no. What about, what about you? Did you ever get mad at someone or you have pretty, nah. pretty thick skin? Bro, my skin thick. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. whole family, you know, is like, um, is like battle rappers that's not yeah. rapping. You know what I mean? That that whole local family of like teasing. Yeah. Uh, and like, that's how you kind of get over your insecurities. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like we, we bring it to light. Yeah. Stop hiding it. Yeah. Own up to it. That's yeah. you. And just run with it. So Especially in Hawaii, when yeah. we make fun of all the ethnicities. Exactly. We kind of grew up about that. We grew up with that. Yeah. So but maybe so if you from the outside, you know, and be like, oh, why yeah, you yeah, that yeah, for? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're used to. So, yeah, never get mad. Yeah. Like, I know what I signed up for, too. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get some people, uh, I mean, it's mostly like the race, racial stuff. They yeah. kind of like question, like. Like the, whole, the thing about the Kamehameha being Samoan. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, that's hilarious <laughs> oh, man, to so me. Much, <laughs> so much kumu hulas coming up to me. Yeah. Yeah. Had one guy I met in Pro Ridge come up to me. He goes, hey, what, you, you, you serious about the, the, oh, yeah. the Kamehameha thing? And then I was like, oh. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I'm not too sure, but I've been hearing both sides. And, yeah. they gave me an, and he, to, he talked to me for like half hour. What's the end result to that? Because I want to know. Yeah, he was Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I don't think, know. I think I, I got. A, I think I got a good comment on there that was like getting liked. I did the um, as far back as I could go his, historically of his um, yeah. father lineage. Yeah. Um, this one TikToker guy, I forget his name, Polynesian kid. He made like a five minute video about it, and he kind of explained Where? went the genealogy. I think th the short story is I gotta watch it again, and I could be wrong, but. <laughs> He said that um, the Hawaiians like uh, was migrated from, ideally, yeah, from Samoa. I think Tonga too, but then when they came to Hawaii, they uh, created their own culture, mm. which created Hawaiian. So it was like, uh, like technically, yeah, they're f everybody's from together. From, it's like America came yeah, from yeah, Europe yeah. and then started their own culture. Yeah. Just the migration right. sign. Yeah. But my whole argument was that that he's like he was what was he, seven feet tall? Probably yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say like uh what a man who is is like my my height. You know what I mean? It's like you <laughs> you're, think pretty, it's you're pretty how tall are you? Five ten. Five ten, yeah. But five ten you're to a seven footer. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you you look small now. Cause what what are you, Hawaiian? Hawaiian, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, Filipino. Oh, all the all the plantation. The plant browse. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's actually all my grandparents. Yeah. yeah, like I, I could like that's my Chinese grandma, that's my Filipino grandpa, yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. Japanese grandpa, on my mom's side. Yeah, it's like all <laughs> the whole plantation over there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, people get offended sometimes, but you cannot, you cannot help it. You, you can't ever, control anybody. You ever notice? It's like um, okay, for me, I feel like my popularity is still just my circle. I never, I never branched out of my uh like I'm not that popular where I get strangers commenting mm -hmm. on. I think once you get to that point. Like I feel like you, of course, uh, that's when you start getting the ignorant comments. The people that are not informative as your audience is yeah. on the topics of whatever you're speaking on, right? And yeah. Then, I think, um, you know who Matt Reif is? That sounds familiar. Comedian. Okay. Uh, young, young guy. He's kind of like all the girls is going crazy over him. He does a lot of like, the crowd work. He mm. just exploded in, in comedy, like the quickest out of any comedian i feel like like he's still out arenas now and like maybe two years ago he only had like 50 people in his at his shows but he blew up from social media and like um his netflix special came out earlier this year and um he said uh you know some i forget what he was talking about i think uh, uh domestic abuse mm. and um 
I guess he got tried to get canceled from that from people, but people don't understand that that's his like his his style. But that's part of the problem because he, he gained so many new fans too fast. And but mm. the fans I was with him from the beginning, they're like, oh yeah, that's that's, that's his him. style. Yeah, that's, that's his. why I did hear this. Yeah. I, I saw I saw clips of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like newer people come yeah. on and they're like, oh, this is so offensive. Like, yeah. who is this guy? You gotta yeah, yeah. you gotta cancel him. You know. Yeah. So um, I can see what you mean by that. Yeah. Like I, I did a um, I did a crowd work bit about. I was talking to this Indian girl in in San Diego, and I was kind of teasing like the Indian accent a little bit and mm. the way they moved the head like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny. And then it it uh, I posted on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and I guess it took off in <laughs> on Facebook. It's like almost at four million views. <laughs> but um, a lot of comments, like laughing comments, and then you see a lot of hate comments. Yeah. And then oh, who is this guy? And it's all like Indian people. Oh, I yeah, see the yes, name, and yes, they're yes, all yes, like, yes. Getting, and I got messages, all <laughs> Indians, and they're all they're all they're, they're, all, <laughs> they're all mad at me, canceling you now. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> that's how, yeah. That's what I mean, right? Once you get past the certain yeah. audience, and then it's just, oh man, do you right. even do? Do I need to engage in this, or do yeah. I just let it just fly? I just, I just let it go. You yeah. can't impress everyone, and I just yeah. want to perform to my fans. Yeah, and uh, I think whatever I think is funny. Hopefully they enjoy that too. Same like you too. Like yeah. whatever you think sounds good or whatever you want to talk about, you're gonna keep doing it. You don't have to adjust to them. I like that because then now you you know you're not you're not yeah. writing to for a for certain, them. Yeah, yeah. They want to see yeah. what what Osna thinks. Right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Or they want to see well what what makes this guy laugh. You know. So that's how you stay unique for that. But you you you're I would say you're popular. I think I have little bits that go popular. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I knew you from the beginning. Like, yeah. I, would, I remember oh, yeah, watching yeah, videos yeah. when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I only had 50 people in the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Another thing I, I heard about you is you don't you don't drink, right? No, never Never drank. did. Never did. Same same like me. I never did drink. Yeah. Wow. Never yep. drank or smoked. <laughs> yeah. Well, just just no. steroids. No, 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 just kidding. <laughs> well, for the stingray. For uh, the stingray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nobody, in my, nobody in my family did. So, I, you know what I mean? Mm. I, I, I didn't grow up around yeah. that environment. You know, it wasn't... It wasn't until I was later on, but... Um, yeah, what is the reason why? Is it because of your family? Because you're around it all the time. Now you're I around am, yes, alcohol yeah, yeah. And Well, okay, so... I, hopefully my dad doesn't see this, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he used to date a girl in Maui when I was in high school. So yeah. every other weekend, he would fly to Maui, and the house was to myself. So I would throw ragers, yeah. high school ragers, at my house. Mm. And what happened was... Um, by doing these, I would see the most dumbest things ever because you're a teenager's getting drunk. Yeah. Right? So you're breaking stuff in my house, things are getting stolen, and yeah. people are doing things they regret doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or, and then it's so my whole process of seeing people drunk is like, why the heck would I want to do that? Mm-hmm. You guys are idiots. Yeah. And also, I have to, you know, be responsible enough to, like, this is my house. Yeah. yeah. Right? So. I think at an early age, just growing up, seeing the worst of alcoholics, yeah. I was like, I'm never doing that. Same. Like, my, my whole family is heavy drinkers. Well, my, my, my dad was, but well, now, now he's sober now, but, like, my, some of my family members, too. And I just see that, and I was like, like I don't mm. want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> my yeah. grandpa was a, was a heavy drinker, yeah. too. So I think it's in, in my blood. That's what my dad always told me. And there. I just seen, like, him mess up and the things that he did. And I just, uh, I mean, I have nothing against alcohol. I mean, it's almost all your... my friends drink. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one that doesn't. Yeah? Yeah. So uh, when I heard that from you, I was like, oh, that's pretty That's pretty cool. And now that I'm in the club, it's just like, yeah. even worse now. Like, or even at shows, day. people want to buy me drinks. And then yeah. I was like, oh, just give them to Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you cannot. Now. Yeah, now you <laughs> cannot. Yeah, you still do that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's wild. She yeah, gets, she yeah. just get all the free drinks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's how how do you uh, you know sometimes people are pushy and it's kind of most like disrespectful. They think it's yeah. yeah. They think it's uh, yeah. That's a good point too because you say oh you you tell someone oh I don't, I don't drink and they're like oh yeah. wow, who's this guy over here or oh, like what is he doing? Bro, here? I had like big guys try to like yeah like pull me like pour me like, oh, oh for real? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Like, well you know when people get just tell them you, you Mormon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Or you say, "Oh, I, I, I no, eight what, years what sober." I've been, well, what I've been saying is, I, I'm just allergic. 
Yeah. Like what? You like me die? I'm like, gonna break down in highs. Like, start hyperventilating. <laughs> like, oh, you say that? Yeah, I yeah, say, yeah. Like, kind of just like you know. Or say like, just say, oh, I'm two years sober. And then it's and like, they go, oh, oh, God bless you. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, where's your coin? Where's your AA coin? <laughs> <laughs> so whatever excuses come. Yeah, but mostly yeah. I just don't make eye contact anymore. I really yeah. can tell. Like, oh, gotta go away. Yeah. Do you like uh, just have water in your hand? I something? bring usually I bring my flask. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what happened earlier is like people buy me drinks or I'm too busy to leave. Yeah. the DJ booth. I, you know, just get soda. Like just bring me a soda. But people would spike it. They never believed me, so hmm. they put alcohol in it. So every time I'd have to smell it first, and they'd be like, ah, oh, smell it, smell it. One time I was playing in Big Island, pitch black. Oh, they tried to do that to you. Well, they they did, and I asked for a yeah. soda, but it was so dark. I went to go smell it, but the straw poked me directly in my eye Ooh. and popped the my retina. Oh, that bad! I was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, so, don't even come close to alcohol. So See what that, I did to you. <laughs> so from that point, I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna drink at the club. I'm just gonna bring my own flask. Like, forget you guys. Yeah. Yeah. No. So now I, I lost a few flasks, like forgetting it there. <laughs> but that's kind of like smoking too. No smoking. No, yeah. no smoking. Yeah. No, yeah. Same like me. No. No. Yeah. yeah. And they're trying to, they're trying to get me for go to the Capitol next week for do speeches about legalizing weed. I'm like, bro, I never even smoked this before. You know what I mean? What, what, are you going to do it? I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> I got If I can think of a good angle. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. But I'm, you know, I definitely don't want to represent something I haven't participated yeah, that's in. Weird. Yeah. I, that's what, I don't even know what I would say. Yeah. I'd say I don't know why you guys ask me. <laughs> they, they, they're only asking people like me because of uh, social media content. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they just yeah. want uh, people's. Would you ever think we do get legalized in Hawaii? I would assume it should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Kind of like the I, the I staple feel like of it. I think it it will it will never. You don't think it would? Yeah, because I, I think I, it would have happened already. Mm, I think Ige was against it. They're claiming Josh yeah. Green is for it, so maybe that's the extra push we have yeah, for yeah. it. I think they would legalize it once they get their people in line to profit off of everything. Yeah, because we do we do follow like what California does a little bit. Yeah. So uh, I mean, California was one of the first places that went legal. I think we were one of the first to do it medically. Oh really? And now there's like yeah. 26 states that are recreational, and we're not. So yeah. we kind of we're, we're like behind. Yeah. So I think that's what the big push is for. But yeah, but I would have thought it would have got legalized already. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, uh, everybody who's arguing against it. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, it's gonna bring more crime. It's gonna cause more problems or whatever their arguments is to keep it illegal. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you use that same arguments for alcohol. Yeah. I think alcohol is way more dangerous. Than way that. more dangerous, right? <laughs> yeah. Super. Yeah. How much drunk drivers, right? Yeah. How much accidents are caused? How much fights? I see a fight yeah. at the club every single, you know, because of alcohol. Alcohol, alcohol, Always. alcohol. So it's like. You don't see a guy fighting. Weed. Weed. Only, anything, only, only the Diaz brothers is fighting <laughs> yeah. on weed. That's the only people. <laughs> for real. <laughs> That's it. Uh, other than that. Yeah, I don't. I, I I don't see the too much against it, like favoring them. Besides, just the yeah stuff. Maybe it will say. get passed in. Is that coming up soon? That capital thing? Uh, it's the eleventh. Oh, the eleventh. So next week, Monday. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get Monday. your speech prepared for that soon. Yeah, let's see. I might have to freestyle <laughs> that one. <Yeah>. <laughs> just come up with a rap. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I was kind of thinking going for. It's like you know, maybe try to do like a rap version or like uh, what is it called? Um, slam poetry. Slam poetry. Have you done that? I don't think I have done that. No, that's like rapping, yeah. It is. Yeah, they have. They have. Uh, Maybe I should su- do that every Sunday at Stand Up Honolulu. Oh yeah, it's another. It's like a comedy club. It. Uh, you know where Designer Body is? Your dad body build there. Uh, I never really got. I never, into it. I never got into it. I never got into that. <laughs> Designer Body is. Uh, um, I know the. Body, yeah, the brand. Yeah, they I know the a, brand, but I don't know where it's at. Uh, I forget what street that is. I'll look it up. Yeah, near Blaisdell, kind of. Okay. Coral Street. I know, I know where that you know is. Where it is. Yeah. Kakako. Yeah, Kakako. Yeah. Okay. On the right hand side. Uh, right above it is Stand Up Honolulu. Every Sundays they have this thing called Soul Sessions, open open mic um, poetry. What? See, some more stuff I got to yeah. check out. Yeah, check that out. Okay. Yeah. So Tuesday, or was it Wednesday for the stand up? <coughs> Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, Tuesday at, and Wednesday? At Hawaiian Brian's Wednesday, Wednesday and Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let yeah. me know. I'll, I'll come oh, down to Coming this one already. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, yeah, I like check. Yeah. <laughs> you can check it out. Yeah. Just come and watch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And you'll see. Soak it in. Sometimes there were nobody in the crowd. 
And you just only gotta, comics. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's. Do you think that's the hardest ones? Oh, I mean, some comedians get confused. Like they have to impress them. Right. So they're trying to come up with or inside jokes that only they understand, mm. and they want like those people to laugh because they feel like they want to get accepted. But um, I'd say that because that, they're not going to be at your shows. Yeah. So do the audience. See, that's like a, a thing I've I've come across in my experience too. Is like, if, am I rapping for rappers or am yeah. I rapping for an audience? The public that, or yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. now I got to change my whole set. Yeah. It's two different kind of people I got to impress. Yeah, yeah. Same like when I have like some videos, I'm like, oh, this is like an easy joke. Like this yeah. is like what everyone's. But thinking. it works, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the the high school stuff. Like that's all stere- stereotype. Yeah, yeah. Anybody thinks of that, but they like it because it's relatable. Yeah. And then they're thinking, oh, what about? How come you never say us? Yeah. You know, yeah. Shareable get, too. Yeah. Shareable. You can. You can. Hey, you. Right, like you talking about your school. Yeah. Yeah. That rivalry. Right. 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 Yeah. Um, as we wrap as we wrap up, do you have anything you want to shout out or promote coming up? Oh, I mean, they could, they could check out the Angry Locals every Friday, right? Yeah, Angry Locals every Friday on ninety three point one, uh, Steezy and Rella show seven and nine a.m. We do the Freestyle Fridays yep. every week. We do a new topic. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, everything is old snizzle O S N I Z Z L E snizzle YouTube. Um, yeah. Well, if you need a DJ for your, your wedding or your clubs yeah. or whatever, I'm always promoting that videography. You know? yep. It's higher because, you know, I don't want booking agents. So this is my booking right now. It's the band right here. <laughs> if you guys need pizzas. Pizzas. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. But I know somebody. But I know how. I know how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here. Bro. Bro, thank you for having it. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a random pop in. Pop in, um, yeah. Just I saw, I saw, actually, I saw him downstairs. I was like, what you doing? He's like, podcast. I was like, let's like, go. Like, oh, come, you know, like, have me on. Like, <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to have you. What you doing? <laughs> That's how it went right That's there. That's how it went. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So now you guys again. know my stand-up comedian is going to start because it is right here. It is. This That's is right. Start. At the stand-up life. Yep. Yeah. There we go. You got to try it. You gotta, I'm going to. Yeah. Then you put it and in. I'll, I'll try to make a, a song, too. That's the yeah. trade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we like yeah, it. Yeah. We like can, it. Okay. Can, can. <laughs> right on. Shoot everybody. <laughs>